Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Dave. Hi. And we have a quick update for you, mainly because we are dog tired. Yeah, the heat fair was exhausting, or actually the drive home was. So we, we thought, you know what, today would be a good day for an update, but also the neat fair experience will be this following Monday. Yeah, it's coming Monday, so it's um, yeah, it's gonna be a good episode. Yeah, just, just a hint, the guys at Neat Fair, the, the viewers, people that we got to talk to, awesome. Awesome, thanks for meeting you guys. You it made the whole great. experience. It was. So a lot more things to cover. So too. yeah, some things um, coming up is a build, tune, fly yes. experiment we're doing. Oh. And what is that? What it is is basically we got a lot of requests um, that people really like the scratch belt videos. Yeah. We're gonna take the same concept from the scratch belt videos and apply it to manufactured airplanes. So we're gonna take uh, from any manufacturer, and by all means, please, if you, there's a certain plane that you want to build tune fly style episode on, comment. Uh, Comment and also let the manufacturers know too. But we're gonna unbox it, build it, tune it, and if there's any hiccups, if there's any issues, we're gonna address them, overcome them, take it right out the door, fly it, talk about the flying experience, land it, what you need to, you know, what settings, how it is to take off. Like for instance, that that's uh, Corsair up there. Yeah. You just don't firewall it and pull up. No. A little tip stall. We're gonna talk about things like that. Yeah. So you can have the best experience possible with any plane, yeah. and that's it really. And. We want to thank everyone who bought a kit while we were away. <laughs> oh my away. god. You we, were a lot of people. We thought, okay, you know, it'll probably be a little busy, you know, because we released the FT Duster and the FT Racer yep. uh, on Wednesday. And we are leaving Wednesday night, Thursday to uh, to go to Neat. And yeah. we thought, we'll, we'll be able to catch them. Wow, they must like those planes. Yeah. That's <laughs> so, we got inundated. And yes, your kit is going to be out the door soon, but right, we're getting through them. Yeah, please give us some grace. Yeah, hopefully by the end of this week uh, we will be caught up. But uh, we never anticipated the outpouring of support, so thank you from the bottom of our heart. We will not be sleeping. Uh, also, one thing is coming up is an RC beginner series. Any sponsored by Horizon? Yes, it's sponsored by Horizon. Yes. It's going to be anything. Um, if you want to get into RC, yes, anything from buying the right airplane to going out and learn to fly. Hopefully by the end of this, you will depict the right plane and you'll be flying and having a great experience. So that's the idea. We hope that pans out good. Yes. And you guys have been active. You guys have been talking to manufacturers and we truly appreciate it. Because of you, a lot of this stuff on the table is here now. Yes. For instance, this uh, Talon from FPV model, uh, weird looking creature. It's, I'm kind of wondering how it's gonna fly. Yeah, I'm me too. Like, that doesn't look aerodynamically responsive. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, well, that's a weird But board. this was requested by the viewers. You guys actually went to the manufacturer and said, and they yeah. sent us one. We got one at our door and like, where'd this come from? And then we connected the dots and found out it was because of you guys. Yeah, so that's coming up. Yep. Um, RC Manchild sent this 3D printed gimbal. Uh, really cool. I actually already tested it. It works absolutely fantastic. Crazy cool blue color too. It's just like... Yeah, I hate uh, the color, but I the gimbal <laughs> design is pretty cool. It's almost like there should be a light inside of it, lighten it up or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I hate blue. Cool gimbal. And this P38 from Flyzone. Check this out. Dave will be able to tell you why it does that later. <laughs> yeah, but in, a, in a future video. In a future video. Um, the, yeah, it's a small plane. We're probably going to fly that at JR Indoor. Yes, right. we're going to have some fun with that. Speaking of which, manufacturers, if you're watching this, we're going to be going to JR Indoor. Load us up with some indoor planes. We're going to yeah. be bringing all the swappables, but it'd be cool to also have some other planes. Bring them stuff. We'll crash yeah. it for you. Yeah, we will. And the last thing we have on the table is the Hadron. 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 Hadron Collider. Hadron Collider. That's it's even a... hard for an American to say. <laughs> it's a thrust vectoring crazy wing type yes. of thing. And this is also because of your request. And we got to see this at NEAT. Yeah, and it was neat. Wow, it was really neat. So we're looking forward to flying that and crashing it, as you say, too. <laughs> yep, so, it was pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Please join our discussion on Facebook because we get a lot of our content from yes. there as well, as well as the homepage. And now a podcast. And a podcast. Yeah, listen to that, too. Oh, we're going to have some interviews coming up on that. Yes. Neat Fair. It's going to be pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. So thanks for watching. We got orders to fill, brother. Yeah, let's go. All right, see you next time. See ya. Oh, uh, yeah. We almost forgot one last thing. Yeah, we're having an open house this weekend. Um, Saturday at noon till around 5. No, it's a drive, but if you're in the area, we'd love to shake your hand and meet you. Yeah, and fly some stuff. Yeah. See you next, See you time. next time.